Coming home, uh, I think the best part was seeing my family and friends and feeling this immense love and pride and just feeling great to see them. And then just walking on terra firma again, you know, not floating around, but just feeling the earth beneath you. That's a beautiful moment. I had those moments of where am I? Am I in space? Am I at home? I'm on the ground. How am I going to move? How am I going to eat? Am I going to throw food in the air and go fly and get it? To walk on the beach was just the most incredible thing. When you look at the horizon, it kind of helps regauge your gyros in your inner ears, and it helps you know exactly what's up and down and right and left. Driving felt interesting because you had been traveling at 17,500 miles per hour. And then you come back and you get in your car and you're like, oh, I'm going 60 miles an hour, huh? That's not, I'm going 100 miles an hour, that's, uh, that's nothing. It changes the way you think about speed. I think food tasted better after eating the rehydrated vegetables and the irradiated turkey, coming home to a wonderful meal and sharing it and not having to go chase it when it bounces off or something and you can, you know, pick it up and you know it's coming to your mouth. You know, that's, that's pretty cool. If you wanna to go to space, it would be one of these things that is transformative on so many different levels. I would tell future explorers to make sure that when you worked with others, that you work as a team, you see all people as potential, you know, space travelers together, no matter what language they speak, no matter what they look like, no matter what food they eat, and to know that we're all in this together and work hard and, and share the fun.